Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, it has pleased God to bring us to the beginning of this new Sunday, the 14th Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year B. And may you be blessed as I share this homily with you and you also find reason to share it with others. Beloved in Christ, in the first reading of today from Ezekiel chapter 2, verses 2 to 5, God spoke to Ezekiel and commissioned him to be his mouthpiece. He gave him his spirit and his mandate, but God did not promise him an easy prophetic mission at all. At the time the prophet Ezekiel was called by God, his people had rebelled against God by living contrary to the terms of the covenant that God established with them. They disobeyed the commandments of God, and by so doing, they rejected God, the author of the commandments. God then sent the prophet to bring Israel back to himself, to continue to experience his love. But then, he forewarned the prophet to the effect that if they had rejected him, God, his messenger, should not expect a different treatment. Dear friends, the prophet Ezekiel, as God's messenger, spoke to the people of their stubbornness, rebellion, and refusal to listen to God. The mission of the prophet was so awakened in the hearts of God's people, the need of getting back on the path that is right before God, and adhere to God's commandment and obey Him. In the Gospel from Mark chapter 6, verses 1 to 6, Jesus, like Ezekiel, also experienced rejection when he went to his own hometown, Nazareth, where he was brought up. And as he taught also in their synagogues, they rejected him because they thought they knew him so well. They identified him as a son of a carpenter and therefore were surprised at his wisdom and the mighty things, the mighty signs he worked. The people thought they knew Jesus so well. They knew his father, a poor carpenter. They knew his mother, a simple and an ordinary woman. But there was something that they did not know about Jesus. That was the power at work in him and his divinity. They rejected Jesus because his wisdom seemed too wonderful for an ordinary carpenter's son. The authority with which he acted was so overwhelming for their prejudiced minds to accept. He was rejected by his own people, but he was vindicated in due course because he was ready to lose everything, even his life, in total fidelity and obedience to God's will. Scripture speaks about rejection and blessings of Christ, that the stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone, and this is the making of the Lord. If, my dear friend, you are rejected by any human being for whatever reason, remain focused and commit yourself to God, and you will never far regret. He will bless you to the shame of those who rejected you. In Nazareth, Jesus' own people rejected him because they still saw him as that small boy they used to know, a mere carpenter's son in that village. They could not recognize the real Christ in Jesus. My dear friends, do not give up and do not give anybody the chance to look down on you because of your past or your background. Do not give them the chance to treat you as that small boy or girl they used to know, whom they did not respect or paid attention to. May God surprise them with the blessings and success he grants you so that many will discover the new and the better you 
that they did not know. May your success and greatness attract their attention to their astonishment. Beloved, whenever you are rejected, do not give up. Stand right before God. Trust in God. And with the help of God's grace, work hard to bring the best in you. For the grace of God is enough for you. May you and your story not be a tribulation to lament on, but a testimony to rejoice over. Have a blessed week and please share my homely with others and subscribe to my YouTube channel. God bless you.